how can we increase the productivity of production and why is that the reason behind the success of McDonald's. Hey everyone, this is Taksh and welcome to Credo. Today we are going to be learning about something which is really important, the division of labor. It was first introduced by the great Swedish economist Adam Smith in his book The Wealth of Nations. I have given the timestamps of this video in the description below, so you might skip to any part that you would like to. Let's get started. So, I want to make a chocolate cake for myself. I don't know how to do that, but I hope you do. Now, in order to make a single cake, I would obviously not hire anyone or buy any expensive machinery. I would just go to the kitchen, watch some YouTube videos and make a cake. But what if I want to open a bakery? Now, in the picnic, all the work would be done by myself. And let's say fortunately the demand of my cakes has increased. Now, I need to work more. But after the point, it's not mathematically possible that I do all the work myself. And even if it could be done, I won't be able to focus more on the business side and I would just stuck to doing the technical work. So now I decided to hire a full time employee and this was the approach that we took. We divided the number of cakes to be made between each other. If there are 10 orders, one would make 5 and another would make 5. But do you think this is an effective approach? And what about this approach? Instead of dividing the number of cakes to be made, we divided the steps required to make it. So one person would make the base. The other person will decorate the cake and so on. Do you think this is an effective approach? Well, the answer is yes. And I'll explain why later on. And what if I bought some machinery to increase the productivity? Did you notice something? What I just did was the division of labor. I divided the work between me, the other person and the machinery which helped me increase my productivity and also meet the rising demand. This was a very basic example of how division of labor can help us increase the productivity and meet the rising demand. Now that you know what is division of labor, let's discuss the three advantages of it. The first advantage of division of labor is less multitasking. Had we divided the number of cakes to be made between each other, we would have to jumble between multiple tasks like making the base, decorating the cake, packaging the cake and so on. And we all know this fact that multitasking definitely leads to the loss of productivity and in some cases it might also lead to the loss of quality. So the latter approach that we took was to divide the steps required to make the cake which means that one person has to do a specific number of tasks less multitasking more productivity and better quality the second advantage is gaining expertise when you do something again and again and again you gain a certain level of expertise at it and that's what happens in division of labor we have a limited amount of tasks that need to be done, which again means better productivity and better quality. And the third advantage of division of labor is the reduction in prices. When something gets done cheaper and faster, of course the manufacturers can afford to reduce the prices. And this one external factor that determines whether division of labor will be possible or not, market size. Let's go back to our bakery example. What if it was only me who want to eat cakes and pastries and there was no demand for my goods in the market? Will I still hire anyone or purchase machinery? Of course not because if it's only me who want to eat a cake, I would just bake it myself. Whether division of labor is possible or not depends on how big is the market. And now let's talk about how did McDonald's use division of labor to their advantage. 
when all the cafes and restaurants were trying to add more and more items in their menu in hope to increase the sales, McDonald's was very clear. They noticed that if they reduce the number of products they sold, which they did, they can increase their productivity. And the way they did their division of labor was just astonishing. It's like to make a burger, one person would be receiving the order. The second person would be applying the ketchup and mustard sauce on the burger. Then one person would be packaging the order and so on. While their competitors took 10 to 15 minutes to prepare an order, McDonald's didn't in just 30 seconds. I hope that by now you have understood what is division of flavor and how is it used in real world. So here we are at the end of this video. Before you scroll down, let me tell you something. Credo is a new channel and of course there's not much content available right now. But if you think you have gained some value from this video, I promise that in the upcoming videos you will gain a lot more. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button.